Hey, what's up you guys? Putting a trailer hitch on your Chevy Colorado can take you to some really cool places, whether it be through bike riding or even towing a U-Haul trailer. So let's go ahead and break down that install for you. All right, our first step is we're gonna go ahead and remove the spare tire using the vehicle's spare tire removal kit. All right, next, right above where the spare tire was, there is a center bracket that we'll remove by taking out these four bolts and we'll be using a 13 millimeter socket. All right, we'll go ahead and set that aside to be reinstalled later. All right, so our hitch is going to replace our cross member right here. So to help ease the removal of that cross member, we're gonna go ahead and remove the bumper. Now the bumper shares these two bolts with the cross member on both sides. And we're gonna go ahead and remove those. All right, before we take those bolts out, we're going to remove these two clips holding the wiring into the cross member and frame. And then we'll remove this harness by pulling on the red locking tab. All right, now towards the center of the bumper, we have a second wiring harness that we're gonna go ahead and remove from the bumper by pulling out that red locking tab. And then we'll just unplug it. And we're gonna go ahead and remove those bolts using a 21, 21 millimeter socket. Now we're gonna remove the last bolt on the passenger side, but we're gonna leave it loosely in at the very end to help support it as we take off the bumper. All right, so with that one bolt loosely in, we have that and the cross member that the bumper is resting on to secure our bumper at the moment. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, hold on to it at the center. Now we're gonna reach up and take out that side bolt. Yeah, with that bolt out, we'll hold it at the center and we'll remove our bumper. And we'll set it aside. All right, our next step is to take out the two bolts on the bottom of each side, and that will allow us to remove the cross member. And we're gonna go ahead and remove those bolts using a 21 millimeter socket. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. And before we take off this last bolt, we'll, have, we'll want to make sure that we are supporting it as it will drop once it comes out. All right, for our next step, we'll be removing these two clip nuts, which are located on the back of the cross member that we previously removed. And we'll just use a flathead screwdriver to pry those off. All right, and we do recommend that you get an extra set of hands to help support the bumper. All right, and then we're gonna attach the center wiring harness. All 
All right, now we're gonna go ahead and raise our hitch into position, lining up the two bottom weld nuts with the holes on the hitch. And we're gonna be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have a hitch jack, we do recommend that you get an extra pair of hands. That way you don't accidentally drop it and cause damage to yourself or the vehicle. All right, now on the passenger side, we're gonna start by taking the existing bolt and threading it into the two bottom weld nuts. And we'll repeat on the driver's side. All right, now with all of our bolts in place, we're gonna go ahead and torque them following the manufacturer's instructions. And we're gonna use a 21 millimeter socket to tighten those up. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. Right behind the hitch receiver, we're gonna go ahead and take our clip nuts that we removed, and we're going to install them onto the hitch. And then we're gonna take our spare tire bracket, and we're just gonna line it up with those clips, and using the existing bolts, we're just gonna put it back into place. and then we'll go ahead and tighten them down using a 13 millimeter socket. And then we'll go ahead and reinstall the spare tire. All right, we went ahead and pulled the car down on the level ground to show you some measurements for your hitch accessories. This is a two inch receiver and from the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is two and a half inches. And from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver is 19 inches. That way you know what size of the ball mount height or what vertical post will work best for your bike rack. All right, so that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching our video. For more information, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or visit us at uhaulhitches.com.